Now I was going to show you the one room upstairs to see if you may be interested in buying the room. Morning. Hey, good morning. I don't know why I didn't go by the bank. I'm not taking by the bank. Okay, we're just talking about the bank. Uh, I'm not going to buy these things. They're good in this bank. Yeah. These won't fly for me. I'm not drawing them with the grandkids. Yeah. It'll be five each on the uh, ones that less marked otherwise. Okay. You having a sale today and tomorrow? Uh, yes, sir. What are you doing with everything you don't sell? Uh, probably holding on to it, to be honest. Really? Yeah, a lot of it. Just because, uh, you know, I probably just try again next year or what have you. Okay. But Do you sell on eBay or anything? No, no. Just, uh, you know, just clean it up a little bit. Sure. <laughs> Um, after your sale tomorrow, I'd be interested in buying out what you have left if you're okay. willing to get rid of it. Okay. Uh, totally up to you. I'll give you a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's John, by the way. All right. Yeah, I appreciate it, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Well, that was an interesting sale. Uh, the guy had a lot of really good stuff, but his prices were pretty high, and he had, like, firm written on a lot of things, uh, like Nintendo Power magazines for, like, 5 to $10 each. Some of those can be worth a little bit, but... I didn't see anything that, you know, was at a price that I could make some money on. And I heard him talking to a couple people and he's like, yeah, my prices are firm. I looked up the prices. I know what it's worth. So sometimes what I do in situations like that is if there's a lot of stuff that I think I could use, I'll just say, you know, like, what are you going to do with it after your sale? Like with all the leftovers, because to be honest, that guy's going to have a lot of stuff left over. Nobody's going to be paying those prices at a garage sale. And he didn't seem super motivated to sell the stuff. He was like, I'll just hang on to it until next year. And I'm thinking, why is it worth your time to do two whole days of sales and not really sell anything and then just hang on to it for another year? Like, I can't really wrap my head around that. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I looked him a car and I was like, hey, if you want to get rid of this stuff, whatever you've got left, I might be interested in buying out the rest. Obviously at a discounted price if he's wanting to move it. But I doubt that I'll get a call, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Is that box $3 each? Nope, $3 for the whole box. Okay. There's only one thing I think I want in here, but I'll just give you 3 bucks for this. Okay. There you go. Thank right, you. Thanks. Have a good day. How much is your doll? Um, I was wanting twenty five for it. Twenty five. Uh huh. Did you pick up the ball glove? Yeah. All right. Do you have any other baseball stuff like bats or anything? No. Uh huh. That should take the. I think that was my husband's. Really oh yeah. You're younger. Maybe <laughs> three bucks. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I'm trying to.
Here, I can hold some of your stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure how much the helmet was. I'm sorry. How much is the helmet? Oh, three dollars. That's fine. Okay. Okay. What do I owe you? There you go. All right, thanks much. You bet. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Great, thanks. Well, one thing about it, we can't complain about the weather, can we? Gorgeous. I'm not complaining one bit. No. I'll tell you what, we're just in a fall. There's no doubt about it. Right. Oh, so how have you been? Good. How's your shoulder? Report, but I haven't. We haven't had the news enough. Got a bag of clothes for ten. And then what do you want on your wedge? Uh, how about two? Two is good. So I get twelve. You have any other pink clubs? Uh, no. That was that was it. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the right change. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good day. Sir, I got a $20 minimum purchase. I just want to let you know. Oh, no. I better go back to the bank and get some more money. Uh, also, also, sir, I'm having, it's like a NASCAR sale. I'm having a three, it's a three lap minimum. They got to be real slow laps. That okay. Way get it all in. I'll make sure I do that. I watch you all the time, man. I knew you'd be here. Oh, how's it going? Yeah. Hang on a second. Watch this. Watch the signature move here. Did you, did you, yeah, see, did yeah. you see that? A lot of people don't get it. How's the sale going? Great. Good. It's got a good day for it. Yeah. One of these days, I was going to call you, maybe in the winter time or something like that, and I was going to show you the one room upstairs to see if you may be interested in buying the room. If you get, if you got a second on that now? Yeah, or, sure. Or, what kind of stuff do you have? Basically, it's NASCAR stuff. Just yeah, I'll take a look. Room. Okay. Sure. See if, see, if you, see if you're interested in that right there. Well, too. that's interesting. Have I've never seen, seen, seen anything like hey, that. Hey, you top them in. And look at this. See it there right here? And yeah. You top this in. Or, I'm, I'm sorry. You do that. Look, at that's it right that there. That is cool. And you can shake it. And that, that's a big that's a big deal right there. Gee, hey, they're like oh. maybe, I'd, I'd say probably 60 average. Hey, they might run Seriously. maybe from 79 to 58, 55. Hey, I'll, I'll throw a $20 bill on you see what you think on it right there. Hey, we'll I'll give you 20 bucks for it, sure. Hey, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll look at it up there. And, yeah. Hey, hey, we'll, we'll see what you come up with. Now, hey, right here's, wow. Here's what I was thinking of right here. Hey, and I know sometimes you can do the books or what have you. So the only books I would want to sell would be from here up. Okay. You might not be interested in one of them, but they're all religious books. Okay. Except for that. That right there. Everything on the walls. And that's, and you might say, I don't know if you know, whatever. But I know sometimes you just give just like a one price type of deal. Right. And and then I've got the big, uh, hey, this right here is mainly, there's a bunch of NASCAR ones in here. NASCAR comics? NASCAR comics. That's then, pretty neat. And, and on the Spidey, sir, when you get back through there, you'll see number one through, and there's an end date on Spidey. So I'm, I'm just going to make it, let's say, they made, let's say they made 70 of them. I'm missing five. If they made eighty-one, I'm missing five. Interesting. So I'm just, I'm just talking, I'm just tossing that out, and hey, all that would go. I mean, banners and all, everything over here would go. So okay. you're trying to get the room back, basically, and kind of yeah. move everything. Yeah. Hey, if, if we, we've been empty nesters for a length of time. We're sitting yeah. on a four-bedroom, two and a half bath, and it's, it, it doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't, I just leave it alone. So. A portion of it I could probably put on eBay, and the rest I'd probably have to put in my shop sale. Yeah. So I'm just trying to do the math. Like, what would you need for everything? I, I, I'll, I'll throw three hundred dollars out, and then we'll just three hundred bucks. See, 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 see what you see what you're thinking right there. I'll tell you what. Let me. Um, um, you go back down sales, stairs and man your sale, sure. and if you're comfortable with me spending oh, five absolutely. ten minutes right, in here. Sure. Oh no, John, come down. We we'll need as much time as you need. Okay, thanks, James. You got a deal, but I'm gonna make it four hundred because I think there's plenty of good stuff in there for me. Well. I'm gonna throw that in the deal. That that twenty don't exist anymore. That's All right, gonna, I appreciate go with it. The four. All right, thank you, James. <laughs> Let me get some cash. And then that's also this right here too. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, anything that you do want or don't want. Four hundred bucks, James. Thank you, man. What all right, guys, I'm back at the shop. I went to a handful of sales today. Got some really good stuff. I got it all pulled out. I'm gonna show you what I found. I got these Helix Bore Air Efficiency Spins. Um, something that increases mileage, I guess. And I'm not sure if it's all here or not. Like, it's got this one piece right there. 
had a hard time finding comps, but I only paid $3 for it, so kind of hard to lose on that one. Got this Ping i2 Pitching Wedge for $2, and a similar one just recently sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Got a Bengals Rydell Mini Helmet, new in the packaging. That's going for about $16 bucks plus shipping. I found this weird uh, pig crochet. I'm pretty sure this is crochet. Wearing like this flowery hat. My buddy Luke really likes weird, interesting crochet stuff. So I'm just going to give that to him. Got a couple baseball gloves. Got this Wilson. Actually, they're both Wilson, I think. Yeah. Paid three for this one, two for this one. Just going to set these aside with a bunch of other gloves that I've got. I like doing auctions like late February, early March when baseball is about to start. And gloves bring pretty good money then. I usually just make one big group lot of gloves that just aren't worth listing individually. I found this clock. Um, they had it described as mid-century modern Swiss clock. The maker is, it says design, I thought it was like Bang Tech or something. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Just has a really cool look to it. It's actually got a timer down here and a clock up here. And the same exact one just recently sold for 109 plus shipping. Got some clothing at one sale. I paid $10 for all three of these pieces. This is from Sonder Brewing. My buddy Tony really likes this beer, so I got that for him. This is a Dickies Works shirt. World famous Bela Sticks Blood Money Tattoo, Cincinnati, Ohio. Never heard of it, but it's a really cool logo, and I think it might be worth a little bit. I'm not sure. And lastly, I got this Obermeyer jacket. Uh, this is a ladies' jacket, the ATC model. I saw one sell on around $25.30. Not huge money, but we're coming up on winter, so I think that should do all right. Got this bottle of perfume at James's sale. He actually pointed this out to me, and it is a removable snow globe. So this outer casing like comes off, and it's a snow globe, which I thought was really cool. Let's see, it is Jean Paul Gautier LeMail. Probably mispronouncing that. Uh, I saw one brand new was selling for like $54 free shipping. When I ran into James, he said he had a lot of like NASCAR collectibles. So he took me up to one of his spare rooms and there was just stuff everywhere. Stuff on the walls, stuff on the shelves, a lot of die cast, comics, just huge variety of stuff. He was wanting to clean out that room and offered me everything for 300 bucks. And I kind of took a look at it and did some math and I think there's some money to be made there. So I just went ahead and paid him 400 bucks. I didn't have time to get it all out of there today, but I'm gonna go buy one day next week and get it all out of there. James, it was a pleasure running into you. Thank you so much for the deal on everything. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.